Hey, what's up guys? Decoy here. Got a um, back-to-back -back games of TDM played in the uh, same lobby. Uh, as some of you might be aware, some of you may be new, uh, I don't really play TDM. Uh, this is actually one of my first experiences playing TDM on my own. I got on last night, had a few drinks. Uh, no one was on really, uh, those that were were in different game, so I just uh, I thought why not play a bit of TDM. I figured it'd be a game mode I could probably carry in. Um, I've got another gameplay coming up at some point of uh, me playing Domination on my own. And it's a lot harder than I like to work for a win, so uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, just trying to figure out the whole um, you know traffic patterns of the map. Um, what I figured with this map was that right here was probably the place to be. So as you see here, I'm, I'm making my way straight back there. Um, but I don't know about you guys, but I find TDM boring. I also find TDM extremely boring to watch. Like, I don't know, there's this, I don't know how to quite put this into words, but it is boring as fuck. <laughs> I mean, like, when you have Domination, Headquarters, Search, I mean, like, there's an objective in order, and you're fighting for that objective. Whereas on TDM, you know, you've got these, these big maps, all these corners, all these buildings that, you know, don't really serve much use, but in TDM they do, so... <laughs> Uh, there's hot spots on every map as well, which is, you know, fairly good, I suppose. I mean, like, right here is a pretty good spot. Um, but I don't know. I mean, like, another game could play differently. I've played probably two games of TDM on this. Um, i played a total of about five or six games. Uh, the first three were pretty good, and then the other two are pretty weak. But, uh, yeah, as you see here, I'm using the same class. Uh, Type 95, which... Uh, you know, some people see it as overpowered. Uh, a lot of my kills with it are at range, and I don't know. It's not my strongest gun, so I don't tend to uh, don't tend to consider it to be overpowered. I mean, like my best gun's the ACR. If you think I'm raping ass with this, you want to see me using ACR in my hand. <laughs> I can tell you now, I've got about just just over a thousand kills with this. I've got well past the veteran challenge of the ACR. Um, I've probably got an equal amount of kills with the uh, Type 95 as I got with the MP7, the PP90, uh, just a lot of different guns. This isn't this isn't by any means my strongest gun. I, I tend to only pull it out really when uh, when other people are using them. Like if I jump in a lobby and we've got a whole team of people using Type 95s, I tend to use a Type 95 myself because it's about the only thing that cancels out the Type 95 is another Type 95. <laughs> um, but I, I honestly consider my uh, my ACR skills to be stronger than my Type 95. So. Yeah, that covers the weapons. As you see how I've sped up the games. If you haven't noticed, I'm surprised. Yes, it's at double speed. Uh, that's just genuine, genuinely because I found the gameplay too slow. So I was playing it and I was fairly bored, but I wanted to, I wanted to play some TDM. And I wanted to do well in them. And I wanted to bring it to you guys and show you how fucking easy it is. Like, you know, you watch all these YouTubers, all these big famous ones, and they all post up TDM gameplays, and that's supposed to be impressive. I don't find it impressive, and I don't think you guys should find it impressive either. Uh, so that's the first game there, and that was uh, 2092, I believe. Just have a quick look at the scoreboard here. Yeah, it's 2092, working that one area, then we go to Outpost, the very next game. Using the same class, probably a different camo, because I've got double gun XP on. Um, AFK for a second there. <laughs> Uh, I knew this game wasn't going to move too fast, and uh, this one I wish I'd sped up a little bit more. I mean, like Outpost is a massive map, and I honestly, for for quite a long time, didn't know where they'd be where they'd be camping. I could have gathered by where my teammates were, but I didn't see many of them getting killed. So, <laughs> um, yeah, just browsing my way around. Um, 
There's one part in this game that I actually quite enjoyed. Uh, so I'll put that back at regular speed. It's I pick up a sniper rifle, get a perfectionist. That was quite nice. Uh, but other than that, it's just me literally roaming around trying to work out where the fuck people are. I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm covering literally half a map here. As you see, I'm not... Well, I don't know. I suppose you could call it more defensive, not necessarily campy. I mean, like I'm definitely moving around the map. Um, and then hereabouts comes the point. Um, I think I'm coming to the point where I find enemies. Yeah, yeah here we go. Uh, I believe I have one more death to take as well. But uh, now that I know that in TDM that they come here, you know, pretty much work around that. Um, God, it's slow, isn't it? I, uh, I feel awkward trying to talk over this gameplay because it's so boring. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I'm going to show you a game of domination over days. Uh, my upload schedule is as and when I like to upload uh, a game of domination and it's it's only a 35 kill game but uh, you know I have to work really hard to a flag, um, I'm outgunned a fair few times, I take about 11 deaths or something but uh, <laughs> it's a lot more exciting than this to watch, I can guarantee you that. So as you see here, I picked up two guns that I'm not very comfortable with, A, a sniper, I just like to at sniper. Uh, which is glitch. See that? See him through the wall there? That was weird. And the other one's a plain M16, which uh, the M16, even when you've got it levelled up with rapid fire and red dot, is still a massive disappointment compared to uh, a lot of other guns. But uh, So right now I'm thinking, right, I've got half the map covered, I'm using two guns I'm not too strong with, I'll just hang back a little bit. Uh, but honestly, time's passing by pretty rapidly, I'm not seeing anyone. I'm getting bored, look, I'm trying random no-scopes for a tree. <laughs> Uh, let's come down here cautiously. No one at the usual domination or search checkpoints. Massive bore off. Come around here. Oh, it's still up there. Right, okay. <laughs> that is literally how people play TDM, isn't it? It's like, I've got a spot that works, I'm just going to continually go there. I mean, I don't mind if I just knew where all the spots were. I'd probably be able to go into TDM and have a pretty good time because most people who play TDM suck. Let's be fair. Um, this isn't quite optic grade sniping, but. I like it. <laughs> and I believe that's my perfectionist. Then I die right about tough. Usual case, you know, pulling out a UAV, changing your gun, reloading is always going to be the time when someone's going to come around that fucking corner at you. <sighs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, go back on a Tote 95 spree here, getting towards the end of the game. It's really long now. You can see I shoot the barrel to the guy behind me, just making sure he doesn't creep up on me, but it doesn't. But, you know, little things like that will keep you alive. Massive thing you learn from search and destroy. My video is really glitchy here again. It seems to happen a lot. I'm trying to get this fixed. Uh, but yeah, it's the end of the game. Call in a helicopter. I believe I got a pistol kill. And then the guy was jumping into the game and kill cam. I don't know, my whole gameplay just went buggy. But that's 20 to 2. Hope you enjoyed the clip at the beginning. That's from a series called Trigger Happy TV. It's available on 4OD if you're in the UK. Uh, if not, check it out online. The series is fucking hilarious. It's been decoy. Peace.